There's been a lot of questions about what can we do right now to be able to make a difference. We've had a million people illegally cross our border just in the last four months. When you're hiring staff, putting processes in place, it takes time to be able to do that. And people say, I want something to make a difference right now to be able to turn that around. That's what this border emergency authority does. It sets a number at 5,000. People said that's a really high number. But what's funny is that's a lower than any day that we've had in the last four months, but seven. So that means the day after this bill passed, the next day, the border would shut down and it would change the default that is, is now to releasing thousands of people into the country that day yeah. to then immediately turning people around so, and thousands of people out. Okay, okay, I'm going to stop you there. So it's not 5,000 every day and then you shut no. it down. It's 5,000, 5, the border would be shut down correct. for a matter of potentially weeks, weeks. until that number decreases That's correct. 75%. That's correct. So it, it's, it's a huge shift. It, some people think it's like somebody at the border with a clicker counting 5,000 in every day. It, it's completely wrong on it. It's when we have a day like we had today, quite frankly, and like we had tomorrow, that well exceeded 5,000. Instead of releasing everyone in, everyone is turned around, and everyone's turned around for weeks until the numbers actually come down. Okay, and it makes it the, the asylum standards stricter it so does. that it's harder to apply for asylum it is. in the U.S. So can you explain I, the changes? I, I, I would I'll, I'll always say asylum's always hard. You go back just 10 years ago, we only had 21,000 people a year that even asked for asylum because it's very hard to be able to get. But the screening is now so simple in the process. You can just cross the border and say, I have fear in my country, and you're released. And now you're in a 10-year backlog, and people just disappear into that. So this doesn't make asylum harder. It makes it clear at the beginning who qualifies and who does not. We set the screening standard higher for evidence. We add some additional things at the beginning to clarify who gets it and who doesn't. So the vast majority of people will be denied at the very beginning rather than 10 years later. Okay. So let's talk about the politics. I don't need to tell you yeah. the, the strongest opposition to your bill are, it comes from your own party. Yeah. Former President Trump says this is a horrendous bill. Uh, Speaker Mike Johnson says it's dead on arrival. Obviously, you have an uphill climb right. to try to sell this. And there are a lot of people who say this is not going to happen. Right. Uh, just your response to all of that. So it is interesting. This bill has just come out in the past 24 hours. The very far left have been attacking it like crazy, and the far right have been attacking it like crazy uh, to say, we don't want to be able to do this. The challenge is, it's not going to be everything that we want to be able to accomplish in border security. It deals with the most essential elements. It deals with asylum. It deals with faster processing. So I'm trying to be able to make it clear. I understand there's some people that say, I want everything or I want nothing. But there's also a lot of people in America and a lot of people in Congress that say, why would we not make progress when we have the opportunity to make progress? We don't get this opportunity very often. We've got both sides looking at each other saying, let's do something. Then let's actually do something to solve as much as we can. So I think you can objectively say the election year politics is, is. getting involved in this, right? It is. Uh, so, I mean, again, what do you make of that? I feel like that's a, that's a pretty bitter pill for you to swallow, given that for the last three years, Republicans have been harping on the border being right. the number one issue. And it's like you've, made, you've gotten many concessions from Democrats, right. and yet you are hitting, you know, this, this political wall here. Yeah, it, it is a challenge. If I go back a year ago, the, pow the House passed a great bill called H.R. 2 that was a border security bill because their statement was we need a change in law on the border, not just change in policy, a change in law. Four months ago, Senate Republicans locked arms and says we need a change in law. We're not going to do other national security issues until we get a change in law. Now people are saying, well, we don't really need a change in law. We just need the president to be able to enforce what's already existing. I, I, I get that. President Trump is, is running for president. He's got a job that he's trying to do to be able to run for president. I've got a job that I'm trying to do. I actually lead for Homeland Security, border security on our committee. My job is to help protect the nation and national security right now. So I'm working to do my job while he's working to do his. So, I mean, but is that an acknowledgement that it seems like he wants to have the fight rather than the solution to the problem. I, I would tell you, if President Trump was president right now, we would not have the chaos of the border that we're having. And I can show that evidence based on the time that he was in office, that even when we had a huge spike in 2019, we had 4,000, 4,500 people crossing the border in a day. They were able to drive that number down to be able to do what it took to be able to get it back in control yeah. of the border. Uh, so if he was president now, we wouldn't have this chaos. But my focus is, how do we prevent this, not just for the next four years, but for the next 40 years, regardless of who's president, what authorities are missing, what loopholes are in our law that need to be closed so that we have a more stable, consistent border so that people that want to legally come here can, but people that are illegally crossing that we don't know who they are, they're not vetted, they're not allowed. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.